the coronavirus and the impact on the markets. We're joined by City Nationals Rockdale's uh, Matt Perone and Charles Schwab Investment Management's Omar Aguilar. Guys, good morning. Good to see you both. Um, let's talk about corona first. Uh, how much, I mean, it's been called a non-event here in the U.S., but given now apparent cloudiness in the China model, uh, how can we forecast any kind of production schedule for, for, for the first half? Yeah, it's going to be an issue for certain sectors of the economy. We've seen some reports this morning. But, and we have this, this tale of two economies, right? The U.S. consumer, which is rolling along, and this is unlikely to derail that. But the manufacturing economy, which is suffering from a trade war, is going to continue to suffer. So we have that, that dichotomy will, is unfortunately set to continue. All right, so implications for stocks here? Certain sectors, certain stocks, uh, as we've seen reports this morning, it's starting to come out who's going to be impacted, certainly in the consumer sector, some manufacturing, supply chain sector. But again, U.S. consumer-driven stocks, the stocks with the narrative, the digital disruption and all that, those, those are going to set to continue. Those key durable themes are set to continue. Right. Omar, your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, there's uh, a few things. One is, uh, you know, we, we should expect more volatility. You know, the, the more we... Un go and hear information about uh, the coronavirus and all the different the statistics that come and go, you, even just recently, just the change in the number of, of cases, it just does create more uncertainty and the market doesn't like uncertainty. That's obviously the short-term effect. Uh, I think what this does, however, is that it provides the opportunity, looking at the bright side, that you know, there may be fiscal stimulus going from Europe fiscal stimulus clearly coming from China to support that uncertainty. And I think that is probably the opportunity set for the markets as we go outside of just the headline. You know, the headline well, itself, you feel, it will probably be uh, short, short left. I just wonder, do you ever feel uncomfortable calling stimulus as a reaction to a crisis a bright side? Well, I think it, it is in the sense that it's a way to support uncertainty. And if you actually even think about it, the actions by the Fed, you know, just by providing that extra, you know, level of support of potentially reducing, you know, uh, rates as a way to support or stability on financial conditions, it is the positive to make sure that investors still maintain the confidence in, in investing. Because obviously, you know, the, the, uh, the absolute, you know, bright side is that the economy is pretty resilient so far.